Taurus, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my love. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a nude. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a, a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Taurus, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Guys, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Let's talk about your energy. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, right now, it feels like the perfect balance of everything. Let me explain. It's like happy and sad. You know, uh, fulfilled and anxiety. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. it it's like uh, it, the best of both worlds or... There is, what stands out to me is a bit of frustration. I will say that. I think you're operating in your true element of the uh, emperor and empress. Um, I feel very strong in your energy. I feel like I know who I am. I know where I stand. Uh, that embodiment uh, makes me feel powerful in your energy. However... I'm also disappointed or, and a little frustrated with uh, reception or exchange, expectations, things like that. I just feel very, I feel strong, but unappreciated, you know? Um, and it's like, it's sad, but at the same time, I still feel good. It's weird. I, I don't know how to explain this energy, Taurus. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to put it to words, but it's like really good and not at the same time. Like, every, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. That's how you came in. So let's see. We're pulling from the Psychic Tarot Oracle. Taurus, please. Taurus, please. Taurus, please. <laughs> Look at the two sides. <laughs> it's like really powerful. <laughs> but at the same time, it's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because this is literally a perfect depiction of what I'm trying to explain. Um, this is uh if this was traditional tarot, this would be strength. And strength talks about the embodiment of empress energy, normally, for this deck, it's emperor energy, and the control of the beast within self. Now, <sighs> okay, we get ready to end this. Uh, the world is here, universe energy. But let's talk about this for now. Controlling the beast within. Um, the beast within can be anything from, I don't know, depression, Fear, um, anxiety, laziness, um, bondage of any sort, basically. Um, bad habits, like bad habits. Think in terms of that. Um, so that would be like your beast. Everybody has their own little personal hang up. Everybody got their little whatever, you know. And right now, I'm feeling all of yours. That's why I, came, I was weirded out by, I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't even, duh, strength. Okay. Now, strength energy as a whole is to remember that the emperor and empress in you is always stronger than the beast. And tame it. You can't say it don't exist. That would be a lie. You can't say it don't even bother you sometimes because that would be a lie. But what you can say is that you can tame it. Okay. 
What's coming in with universal energy is world energy. Um, closure of a cycle, changes, move, travel, things like that, okay? Right behind that, hair fine energy with wisdom. So I like the leveling up, all right? Yeah, there's something else here. A new project, you're going to find something new to do. Yeah, about January. Um, something else is here. Something new to do. Maybe a new hobby, a new uh, class, a new social group, a new... There's something new that you're adding into development. Uh, how, can, how can I say? Like, yeah, like taking a class, like taking a course to better your whatever. You know, that's how this feels to me with that hair fire. Um, that'll actually create motion to accelerate in your energy. I like that. So, you know, so things will start moving a little faster. You'll start getting more downloads, more instructions. Um, unfortunately, at, at the same time, you are going to process, this is heavy to me, this emotional loss. You're going to process, um, I don't want to say it like that. So let me hold on. What I'm hearing, I have to be obedient to what I'm hearing, but I don't like the way it sounds. So I'm trying to look for a little more definition. Let me just explain what I'm doing. But what I'm hearing is um, the loss of a dream. And I don't like that shit, you know? Um, but what I do know with this loss it's not a total loss it's a redirection that's why I feel, okay so kind of like with the five of cups you know the milk is spilled yes but there's more milk you know what i'm saying okay yeah that, that i like that better yeah because i did when i heard the loss of a dream i i shoot I, I how am i supposed to explain that and be positive um but you know i, I give it to it like it is uh, patience and planning coming in behind that. So there will be a few options open. All of them are not good. Take your time, use discernment, pray about everything. Balance comes in behind that. Lovely. All right. Lovely justice energy. A lot of integrity too. This might be, um, for some of you, this might be a legal issue. Or it should be a legal issue. That's how that feels. Okay, that's better. Uh, for some of you, you, the balance is going to be restored. And if you if you choose to, you can pursue legal action. It's up to you. But balance is going to be restored regardless. Yeah, because you can relax after this. Okay? All right, let's get to tarot. Let's see if we can get some more details with this energy. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're going to use secret. And the illustration on these are traditional writer illustration. Some, they have little tidbits at the bottom. But I like these cards for, especially for earth energy. All right, Taurus here. Let me have the, okay. Yep. It's hard out here for a pimp, ain't it? <laughs> yep. It's like, it's hard and fun at the same time. Same energy. You know, the 10 of wands is not like somebody just picked up 10 wands at one time and they're like, I'm going to carry it. I'll do it. No, that's not how this works. Ten of walks, uh, Wands is really a gradual energy, believe it or not. It's over time, throughout the journey, you pick up things and pick up things and pick up things and pick up things. And after a while, you don't even realize it, but your hands are so full that you can't even see what's in front of you. You, you can only move one step at a time because you have the load of carrying all of this stuff. OK, so that might be how you feel right now. But at the same time, you feel free and passionate and focused and fun, but it just don't last with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is, you know, like if I was talking about a relationship, I would say, you know, this might be a player. 
because he's a great Saturday night and a lonely Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's not because he's not focused or passionate. It's simply because he can't stay still. He has things to do. You know, he really does. Any night um, is always in motion. That's why they're always on the horse. The knights are always in motion, okay? So by this, I think you picking up this energy, this is like sometimes uh, you can get control of maybe taming that beast inside, and then sometimes it's hard. And lately, it's been more hard than it has been easy. That's all, okay? Crown this energy for Taurus. Please, yep. Three of Cups. Yeah. And there's the Five of Wands. God darn it. I knew it. I, I can't. If Taurus, you are a walking two-sided coin. Look at this fun. Look at this happiness. This wonderful social engagement. And then look at the bottom of the deck. Everybody fighting. The best of both. I'm telling you. You're a dual energy right now. I mean... I don't know how to, I, I don't think I've ever even seen this. Um, you're literally a dual energy right now. Uh, both of them at the same time. You're fun, loving, um, and celebratory, and free. And at the same time, there's chaos and conflict. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to ground this. We're going to have to ground this energy. I would say with probably water. Let me see what's coming up working against you. But let me see if we can get you some help to with this energy. Because, I mean, I, I'm feeling like I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in this here. What, what What's working against Taurus? What's working the seven of swords. So for some of you, it's somebody else sabotaging you. And for others, it's you sabotaging yourself. And honestly, there's a little bit of both here as well. Everything is coming up dual energy. There's a little bit of both. And there's the conflict again. Yeah. See, it's not just somebody sabotaging you. It's you sabotaging yourself at the same time. God darn, Taurus, where is this coming from? Can I get that? What, what, what? The King of Swords. Um, I, I would say a hard conversation with the King of Swords because he deals with facts and truth. Um, very intelligent energy, but there's something else here. Hold on. Um, it's, um... TB Christmas. How do I explain? Um, like a costume? Yeah, okay. Damn, you got me stumped on this energy, Taurus. I, I want to, I want to help you identify what, what, it's coming from and the source, the meat, you know, I like meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the root of this so that we can uh, see what needs to be done to get out of it. And this King of Swords has me stumped because I'm seeing the King of Swords, but I'm also seeing a woman in a dress. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Okay. Um, and it's right here for, 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 for me personally, a printed dress right here. And I'm not getting the message from what I'm seeing. That's my, that, you know what? Let's clarify this because we let's see what's going on. Taurus, I'm sorry to extend your reading because you know, I try to get through it if I can, but every now and then I, I, I do get stumped. And I want um, always with all of the readings, I don't want to just give you the energy and information. We want to try to come up with a possible uh, resolution and solution as well. You know what I'm saying? Because after a while, all of this dual energy start playing with your cuckoo. 
your, 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 your mind be going crazy. You know what I mean? Clarify this King of Swords past energy. Hello. And there's the Queen. I told you. Look at that. I told you. There's a woman, there's a man and a woman. I don't know how to explain this. Can you, um, can you, I know what's there. Uh, hold on y'all. Let me just work with my crew here. I know what's there. I need to know. I need to know what it means. Tell me what it means. Okay. Thank you. Two of swords reverse. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Taurus, why didn't you just, yep. There it is. Okay, past it. Where is this coming from? Remember, that was the original question. What brought this on? Things like that. We got the King of Swords. So what we do have is intellect, facts, truth, honesty. Um, and it's a brute truth. It's, it's, it's a hard truth. It's like, I know what I need to do, but I know what I want to do. Queen of Wands here. Now, you know, I say all the time, she is the only queen that challenges the empress. She don't give a crap that her title doesn't equate, but that's because of her focus, confidence, and passion that she has in herself. So at the same, it's like the you have went through a period and you realize what you need to do. You had a hard conversation with yourself and that side, that was one side of the story. The other side of the story is, I know what I want to do. I know what I need to do. Stop telling me what I need to do because this is what I want to do. So it's almost as if you started arguing with your damn self and you didn't picked up both. Now, and when I said, what does it mean? Because I was still confused. The two of swords comes in reverse. That's you, Taurus, going into that, um, that, uh, that energy, you like, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, you know how y'all get, I love you, but you know, we talk here. Okay. Oh, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. I know what I need to do. I know what I want to do. And it's going to be what it's going to be. So because you're not crazy, you're not releasing responsibility and obligation, but you also not releasing you, it's not like I ain't having too much fun where so I ain't paying my bills, but I'm also not uh, applying myself as much as I know I could and should to make um, things a little easier for me. You know what I mean? The fool is coming in with this two of swords in reverse. So if this is going to be your new way of doing things, this is the chance that you're taking. This is the way you want to kind of manifest because, you know, you have responsibilities but at the same time, you have passion. All right. So you're saying, look, I want my cake and eat it too. And I deserve it. And I earned it. And it's my birthright. Okay. So I want to have fun. I want to be happy. But at the same time, I know I self-sabotage. Water. That's what you need. This You need this Ace of Cups. We need, we, yeah, yeah. We need this Ace of Cups. I don't think the ground is going to ground you. And you know your natural element is earth. I think we need some water. That's probably why the Three of Cups is crowning this reading. Uh, this reading. Pull down from that water. Pull down from healthy emotions. You know what I'm saying? Um, whimsical um, emotions. Try to surround yourself with people that are fun and free. Um, and, you know, like... Let's do it. You know, people like that, because everything else right now is just going to create more conflict. It's going it, to, that's all it's going to do. You really don't want to have a serious conversation about this because you already know everything about it. And you really don't want to do anything about it because you feel like if you let go of this, you have to let go of that, or you have to change this, or you have to change that. There's basically, this conflict is not just external in your energy, it's also internal. You know what I'm saying? So, a shamalama, a mother loving ding dong, this is a pickle. It's a pickle. I'm so glad the universe is here. I'm exhausted. Look, I mean, just trying to figure out the, 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 what the heck is going on here with y'all. 
Let me see. Where are we going with this for Taurus? Hello. Thank you, God. Whew. Something got to die. Besides me passing out with this damn energy. Hello. Yes, death and rebirth. Scorpion energy coming in. See, with the water, healthy connections. Yeah, this got to go. This we need we need we need a friend. Anybody? Wait a minute. What, uh, anybody need a friend? Who's that? Mariah Carey. We need a friend. We need a, a real friend, a real connection. Now, this could be a partner in love or just a friend in life, but you need to connect with somebody like you. Somebody that wants what you want, that want to go where you want to go. They think like you think. They trying to be where you at and vice versa. A healthy exchange of emotions, okay? We need a friend. And if you got to find a friend in Jesus, then let that be it. But see, that's a, the only, I think a water is going to be needed for this. We need this. A, a good friend will have you step back into um, this unconditional love of the queen. She's the mother of emotion. She's the mother of love. You know, and we need some love here. There's passion and intellect here, but the emotion, the, the, we need some water. And water is dry, Taurus, is dry. <laughs> now, I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. I already know that because I'm sitting here looking at you. Problem is, you sitting there with a blindfold on. So who cuckoo is bigger? I, is it me? Am I crazy? I mean, let me know. Because you sitting here like, whatever. It's going to be what it's going to be. I, You know, I know what I need. I, I, I just, I don't want to be bothered right now. I, You know, I really just don't want to be bothered. And that's, that's what happens when you do that. When you avoid, it gets worse. If you avoid to take and face something head on, it gets worse every time, every time. Now, the great thing about these tens, even though they're heavy and very powerful and very uncomfortable, but they're endings. So we're come, bringing an ending to this energy, probably January, February. Uh, lovers are coming in behind that. I like that uh, lovers are coming in to kind of soothe your dual energy that you're um, juggling right now. Uh, lovers represents not just divine company, uh, but also getting in alignment with your divine path. Okay. Um, so this beautiful, you, you kind of ease right into it. And then your Uber comes the chariot energy, Cancerian energy. And the angel says, Taurus, sit back and relax. Where can I take you? And you have a say in that destination, my love. So it's going to, that, that's why you have to face this. Because facing this matter will give you the say that you have in your future. You understand how you're going to live your life in this experience of the skin suit. All right. Because this inner conflict it's frustrating. Like, who wants to go through this all the time? I'm over it. You know, Taurus is, I, I, I say about Taurus is all the time how you guys get dragged and you come out clean as a baby bottom on the other side and things like that. But the I think the group that I'm connecting to today is a little bit further along in your development. And I think you're getting tired of getting dragged, you know? Um, how many lessons is it going to take for things to kind of smooth over? You're tired of this conflict and you have to kind of take into account that it's in your control. I think you're coming to real that realization. It's in your control. So your passion, your um, focus, you know, your confidence, all of these things are in your control. It's your birthright. You're absolutely right. But in order for it to be wielded in a healthy way, you're going to have to heal whatever it is that you've been trying to have this, in, whatever it is that uh, causes you to have inner conflict and self-sabotage. That has to be addressed. All right. So empty that out so the angel can restore healthy waters into you so you can complete this journey here. 
But in order for you to do that, you're going to have to see through a new divine eye and a, a, a new way of understanding Piscean energy with this hangman. That's going to allow you to see what healthy emotions even look like. Because if you feel like, like I, I've been surrounded by negativity or toxic people all my life, well, damn it, how would you even know a decent person if you saw one, if that's what you're saying? Because I know if I ask you if you were a decent person, you would say absent mother love and lovely. But you can't identify one. And that's that's true talk right there, guys. I, I love you, you know, but we talk here. All right. So it's going to be an experience um, to connect in an emotional sense, ways to, you know, protect yourself and still give a little leeway uh, for new opportunities. All right. Divine favor has always been in your life. Uh, I tell you that all the time. You have divine favor, Aquarian energy here with the star. So you do have favor that allows you to stay balanced, stay healed, stay under the umbrella of the most high. But divine intervention comes in with this tower every time things get sticky. And sometimes it's you. You know? Especially after you've been dragged. You know how when life drags you and you actually come out beautiful, sometimes you look back and be like, nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't need to do that no more. Your victory and success is sealed. It's sealed. They see it. You know, that was the old Taurus. The new Taurus just sits proudly and let the people look at the accomplishment, you know, the success. You like it. You like it. I love it, Taurus. But it doesn't change the message. It doesn't. I have to say that. Um, I think you hold on to things a little longer than you should. I think you hold back yourself a little more than you should. And I think that because of, uh, I think that because you may have kind of have this protective um, exterior um, that you've developed in life over time, it's hindering now your ability to effectively connect as maybe an adult or an older adult um, with new people or do new things, try new things. You, you, you know, it's kind of like when... When, when the kids leave the nest, what do you do? You know, it's like, it's, oh my, I don't even know where to go. I don't know where people go. I don't know what people do. You know, it's like you're in that kind of limbo, trying to figure out how to maneuver this thing called life um, and make healthy connections. And look at that now, see, I told you that ace is going to save you. When you get to that point, that AC, see these divine waters, man, they wash away anything. Restore, replenish, rejuvenate, even reconcile if that's what you seek. The Ace of Cups, this is God's love, just being poured into you, my love. And that's probably what you're going to need. And look at the clarity that now comes behind that. And now you can get your happiness and get back to yourself. See how that worked out? Yep. So, Taurus, in the mean and in between time, remember who you are. Um, and that strength that you have um, should also be there in the in your emotions, not just in your ability to kind of stand up for yourself or fight for yourself or um, protect yourself. That strength that you have is also in love. You know, don't forget that my darlings. Okay. And I hope this helps. Ooh, y'all had me stumped. <laughs> All right. Um, if this one isn't for you, I am so okay with that. I understand. Check your moon arising. Don't take this energy with you. If it's not yours, leave it here. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel. Okay. 
If you're interested in more content, I post more content with the membership. Boomstick Level has all access to all readings. Leap of Faith gets a little extra as well. They both get free giveaways on a monthly basis. Jump on board, okay? Plant a seed. Other than that, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.